AI is gonna take over video editing in a way that you haven't even imagined yet. And to prove it, I'm gonna go over three five sentence stories that are gonna completely shift the way that you think about the future of our industry. Situation slash story one is gonna be something that I call the impossible budget. Let's say that you're offered a lyric video, but your budget is only $500. The song is about four minutes long, but the directive is packed with complex typography, complex compositing, and crazy motion graphics. This is at minimum $6,000 of your time being demanded of you, for again, only $500. You basically do not have the budget to allocate the necessary time to actually complete the project. Situation two, you're on tour with Drake. After every single show, which are back to back, you're expected to create a highlight reel within 12 hours from the last show. This literally means in order to keep this job, you're having to work overnight. This is not sustainable. What do you do? Situation three, your client comes at you with a dream job. He has a massive budget for a beautiful ad that he wants you to create, and he has over half a million dollars in ad spend to put behind it once you're done. They want beautiful VFX sequences, complex transitions, and studio grade effects. They have the budget, they're giving you the time you need, but there's only one problem. You don't have the technical ability to execute their vision at the level that they expect. Here, the limitation isn't budget or time, it's lack of skill. Now stop for a second, because I'm about to tell you something crazy. And I'm not here to tell you how you should feel about this. I just want to tell you that this is a reality that's happening and you need to be in the know. Now there's two types of knowledge that makes a great video editor. Number one is the knowledge of the tool. I'm talking about how to actually use the software, you know, how to keyframe, how to composite, how to fix mistakes. And then number two is the actual knowledge of the artistry. I'm talking about understanding pacing, storytelling, understanding the creative intent behind every cut. Both take years to master. But now, AI is being trained to master both at the same time. Let's talk about AI learning the tool first. Before AI can edit like a pro, it needs to actually learn the tools, the software, Premiere Pro, After Effects. And it's learning just like a human would do. This AI is watching every single tutorial on YouTube. Now let's talk about AI learning artistry. At the same time, AI is learning why things are being done a certain way. It's analyzing music videos to understanding the rhythm of fast paced cuts. It's watching feature films to see how editors create emotion with pacing. It's studying YouTube creators to break down the formulas that hold attention. It's not just learning how to use the tools, it's learning how to create the art itself. And when you combine these two things, I'm talking about the technical skill and the artistic intuition, you get a machine that can edit, animate, and create VFX at a professional level instantly. Voice activated video editing. This is on the verge of being able to happen, and I'm gonna tell you about it. Right now, OpenAI's operator, AI, is able to do this with browsers. You're able to not necessarily use your voice, but you're able to type in a prompt and it will then literally operate your mouse and click and do any function or do any command that it tells you to do as long as it's on a browser. It'll respond to your mail. It'll buy what you wanna buy off of Amazon. It'll renew your Netflix subscription. But as amazing as this automation is with browser-based functions, the next step is for this operator AI to learn actual software. Because once this operator AI knows how to execute every function inside Premiere Pro, After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve, there isn't gonna be any reason for you to actually learn how to manually edit anymore with your mouse. Instead of clicking through menus, adjusting keyframes, and dragging effects onto clips, you'll just have to tell it what to do. Imagine this, you drop all your footage onto your timeline and you basically just say, cut all this footage to the beat and done. It does it instantly. Now let's say that you say, track this same shot and add a subtle push in. And then maybe also you say, track this text to her hand and match the lighting. I'm talking about no clicking, no dragging, no searching for effects. You're basically speaking your edits into existence. Now let's revisit those three situations once again. As far as the $500 lyric video, instead of painstakingly animating every lyric, you just say, auto-sync the lyrics to the beat and add dynamic motion graphics. Done. 
as far as the tour highlight video. Instead of dragging 200 clips into a timeline and spending hours sorting, you just say, pick the best shots, cut to the beat, and add smooth transitions. Done. As far as the dream client video, instead of spending months learning advanced VFX, you just say, create a seamless camera transition between these two shots with realistic motion blur. Done. The future is closer than you think. I believe that manual video editing will soon become obsolete. And the question is, are we ready?